Welcome to this horror special of TRS Clips. Subscribe and enjoy this video. What's the scariest experience of your life? Okay, this might sound very funny. Uh, again, there were some dreams involved in this. This is not a ghostly experience. That will come to later. Okay. This is an experience which kind of made me... I mean, shit my pants. I mean, not literally, but... It's okay, even if it's yeah. literal, dude. But uh, <laughs> that is the only metaphor I could come up with right now. Because even thinking about it makes me uh, sweat. So, uh, like I said, throughout my life, dreams have played a very important role. So, I kept getting these... Uh, so, when I was a child, I had once fallen into a, uh, this thing. Uh, a small uh, tank of water. So, that was a very... I don't remember exactly what happened. I was three or four years old. I just remember falling. And, you know, falling backwards. And then, the, 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 the smell that, you know, when water touches your lungs, there's a smell that comes. I remember that. That's all. Okay. But I was saved. Nothing happened. And uh, when I was working in Gurgaon as an engineer, IT professional, uh, I had to take elevators. So elevators, I used to take elevators at that time. I had no issues with that. Uh, then one fine day, I think, then I was working in Bombay as well. In Bombay also, I was taking elevators. No issues, no issues. Then suddenly one day, I started getting a weird dream where I'm stuck in an elevator. And the lights have gone out and, you know, you can't, I'm pressing these buttons, but uh, the emergency bell won't go. The phone there, that's there, the intercom, that's not working. And I'm stuck there in that darkness. And that was a very scary dream. And it, that kept on happening for the next uh, three, four months. I was ignoring it. Every day I was going to the office, I was using the lift. And then one fine day, the dream stopped coming. I was happy. Hello, everything is fine. Then I think this was during Diwali or something, Diwali of 2017, 2016. I had joined a new office and that was in Chandiwali. Okay. And there was this building called Boomerang Building. Um, uh, so I, uh, I went to the office like a normal day. I went up, went down, no problem. One day I was, uh, I had gone for a lunch break. So I didn't bring my lunch, so I'd gone outside to eat. And then I was coming back. I was alone in that elevator. I pressed this thing and the, it started moving up. And suddenly there was a zoom. It stopped. And it stopped. The moment it stopped, I wasn't tense or anything. I was like, okay, it'll start. It didn't start. Two minutes, three minutes, it didn't start. Now I was getting a little nervous. Then I, the light started flickering. <coughs> So now it was kind of reminiscent of the, that dream which was recurring before that. Then I was like, okay. And then I pressed the emergency button. There was no sound, nothing. It you were alone cool. in the lift. I was alone in the lift. And then I took the intercom. That wasn't working. And I mean, I'm getting some... Those... For 10 minutes, I didn't know what to do. The light went off. It was dark. I had a phone. Luckily, there was a point of network that kind of came in. I immediately called my manager and I told him, look, I'm stuck in a lift. He couldn't hear my voice. My voice was breaking because I was inside the ele elevator. But he got the message. I was even sending SOS messages. So he got the message and he contacted the uh, security and they were all working on that. And because it was a lunchtime and it was, I think, on a Saturday or something, there were not many people going up and down. So maybe that's why they didn't even take notice of this particular lift that was stuck. I was inside the lift for 20-25 minutes in the darkness. And trust me, it was worse than the climax of Interstellar. Mm -hmm. Where we get, get stuck in that fifth dimension. And since then, I picked up this very bad claustrophobia. And again, it was like those dreams were warning me. Hey, don't go, don't go, don't go. But nothing was happening, but this finally happened. But since then... I've tried a lot of times to overcome that fear. And I tried. I tried once I was here in Andheri. I had to go meet a, uh, meet someone, a producer or someone. And uh, his apartment was on the 15th floor. I, I didn't want to climb 15 floors at that time. This was two years back or something. This was after that incident, 2018 or something. 
तो आई आस्क वन ऑफ द एडीज टू यू नो कम डाउन यू कम विद मी अकेले नहीं जाना है यू कम विद मी ही केम एंड वी वर गोइंग अब इधर वॉट एपन आई एम लिटल आई हैड आई वॉज वन स्टक इन लिफ्ट सो आई कूडेंट आई कॉन्ट टेक दिस एन एम सो इज दे एंड सडनली ऑन थर्टीन फ्लो इट स्टॉप थर्टीन और ट्वेल्थ आई मीन फॉर एफेक्ट यू कैन पुट थर्टीन बट आई वॉज स्टक दे बट दिस वॉज लाइक अ फॉर फोर और फाइव मिनट्स बट again the same bad feeling started cropping and i was like i was literally shivering and i was perspiring i was palpitating and uh, and this idiot who was with me he was jumping in that he was trying to open the door <laughs> and he did he opened it wow that's how he came out after that the next 2 3 times i visited that guy's office i climbed the stairs you're molding reality dude and that's what's happened and every time and even recently uh, this is as recent as 2021 february we were in a hospital and my wife had to uh, there was some complications there so we had to go to the uh, maternity ward it was on the 8th floor and since my wife was in a very bad condition i decided to go with her so that she doesn't take stairs because otherwise i always take stairs even at my in my apartment which is on 7th floor i every day i take stairs so here so that she doesn't take any stress i decided to go in the lift that's the sacrifice you make for your <laughs> loved ones and she was in her own uh, tension and stress on third floor the lift stopped <laughs> and, and there was this nurse behind me she said phas gaye <laughs> and that's when i realized oh god i'm stuck and but luckily that lift opened in like one or two minutes and i just ran out and i never took the lift again every day i was going up and down on the staircase even now today here also i took the stairs but that's something which has stayed on with me this is not horror horror but Every time I decide to take a lift, that lift breaks down. Like in my apartment itself, every time you know my wife or somebody she counsels me and you know go go go, and okay, today I'll take a lift. But then that day itself, somebody will go and get stuck in that lift. One attracts what they fear. Probably, or maybe there are energies, energies that you don't see, which are trying to warn you, don't go inside. Because that's also a possibility. Like you said, there are muses that throw art into your head. ideas into your head there are also muses that throw warnings warnings and this could be pretas this could be bhutas this could be muses or this could be just pure energy if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe to this channel and make sure you watch more horror clips on trs clips